Fajardo looking to throw on first down. And nothing there. And he will be manhandle this Nevada front. They've got to run well and shoot gaps. And Jefferson. On third down and 14. Fajardo to throw. Middle of the field. High. Incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Zach Sol Sudfeld. They, they can't make mistakes, and Coach told us that. That was going to be a key factor in this one. Stephon Jefferson he talked about the power. That's the first positive yards for Nevada, and more coming. Got up a little gingerly and holding his face mask. A little something from the turf. Hand off straight up the middle, and he powers forward. Off the field for this football game. Second down at six. Fajardo, right side and run out of bounds. Trying to guard this offense. You know what kind of runner Jefferson is, so you have to account for him. Four blue jerseys around Jefferson taking the fake. For days you can't tell where the backs are coming from. And right now, Nevada's having their way offensive. 84% in the red zone. Jefferson trying to add six here will be stopped short. Fajardo keeps to the goal line. Stood up. Fajardo to the goal line, touchdown. They will start from their own 35. Fajardo keeps and takes around the left side. It's also a one bullet straight ahead, and he wanted to run the ball north to south, not side to side. A few bumps and bruises and anxiety from the running backs coach from Nevada. But and they settled in and in 2009 led the nation in running. And as well as Nevada does, they, they also will out formation you. And you have the skill set of guys like Fajardo and Jefferson running that pistol offense to make it look really, really good. Fajardo slides before being taken down by Chris Miller after a 16 yard pickup on the play before to his tight end Sudfeld. Sudfeld described just kind of as a football player. They prepared for him to be one of the keys in this offense because they weren't sure about their wide receiver set coming into the year. And he's six foot seven, 260 pounds. Yeah, that big. Just throw the ball up, let him go get it. Second down and six. Back in Falcon territory. Jefferson just met with a whole lot of blue jerseys tonight in the backfield. And they're they're just being. They're, they're, they're blowing assignments and they're not paying attention to their to their to the task right now. Fajardo wanted to pitch, nobody there to pitch to, and he goes down. In the last 17 plays now, eight of them have gone for negative yardage for the Wolfpack. They frustrated here in the first half, second and 12. Completion there to the 28. He's got his tight end again. Jefferson. Gets the fake, Fajardo keeps, goes across the goal line for his second touchdown of the night. Going and doing what they usually do. Excellent job by Air Force staying active. On first down, Jefferson trying to find room, and he is almost sawed in half. And he looked like he was about sawed in half. Hit low and high. Fajardo to throw on second down. Got Sudfeld. Sudfeld's got a first down. Little yak for 44. You're going to get a lot of yak when you're that size. We talked about how big this young man is. And six foot seven. When he falls down. That's yak. He's on the Mackey watch list for the best tight end in the country. One of 26. A captain in his sixth year. Now they're moving it with Nick Hale on the ground. By Nick Hale off tackle. Fajardo keeps and slides inside the 40 yard line. Chris inside the 40 and we're inside four minutes to play in the first half. Ten point ball game from the 38. Pressure coming. Fajardo gets out of it. Throws incomplete. No Jefferson in the backfield. It's Nick Hale. Fajardo to throw middle of the field. Sudfeld. Catches, upended. Spears had him and takes him down at the 30. Still Hale, the deep back. Play action to him. Fajardo to throw. Low again. Has two wide left. Pressure coming. Gets it away to the end zone. 
Touchdown! He got Bradley. Look at what they've done so far tonight. Sunfeld got another first down. Got it out to the 40. Depends on the mark. He's right at the sticks. The jar to the throw. Sudfeld again down to the Falcons 40 yard line. Clock stops with 24 seconds and in they the have, first half. They have found a mismatch and, and, a, and a, a matchup problem at the tight end position. Air Force is not able to stop Sudfeld getting downfield. He's having a field day through the middle of the field right now. Fajardo goes right, throws that side, and incomplete. Didn't have enough arm to get it out. Sudfeld now six catches on the night for 79 yards. He is easily the favorite target right now, Fajardo. It is, and they've got a linebacker matched up on him, sometimes maybe a defensive back, and he's six foot seven. It doesn't matter who you put out there, it's gonna be a mismatch. There's not another, there's not a person on Air Force's roster. I don't think that's six foot seven. Not on the football team, maybe the basketball team, they go get one of those guys, but they're having a problem guarding Sudfeld and the middle of the field is where he's been working well reading zone and he's one of the best in the nation as well he doesn't get his, a lot of the headlines but you ask NFL scouts yep they're foaming at the mouth about that young man there six of the ten completions from Fajardo have gone to that man 146 yards for Cody tonight looking to throw long right side a turner out there incomplete as he overthrew him don't be surprised if they try to work big 44 in. And the problem is that Nevada's got to find a way to protect Fajardo long enough for him to set up and let the receivers get deep enough downfield into the end zone if they're going to go for a Hail Mary. Now they look like they're set up for the Hail Mary. Two seconds. This will likely be the last play of the first half. Rolls right. Pressure. Will he get room to throw? Gets out left side. Let's it go. He's got it long enough. He's got it too long out of the end zone and incomplete. They will get the ball to start the second half.